In this video, I want to talk about the holy grail problem in CSS. So this is a very frequently asked question during front-end interviews and I myself have been asked this question a lot. So let's try to dig right in. So the holy grail problem in CSS as you can see on the screen is when the interviewer asks you to implement something like this. So let me just click on cross over here. Let me just close the inspector. So the holy grail structure looks something like this where you'll have a header, a footer, something on the left, something on the right and a mid section. So you'll be asked to implement something like this purely using HTML and CSS. Now this layout is very common in many applications. So knowing how to build this layout is something that showcases your CSS fundamentals. So now without any further ado, let's go ahead and build this out. So over here on the left hand side, you can see my code editor and on the right hand side, you can see the browser opened up. So whatever I write over here is going to be rendered on the screen at the right. So let me go to my index.html first. You can see over here, I already have a boilerplate set up over here. And here we need to create the HTML elements for the CSS layout. And here I've already linked my uh, CSS file. So you can see styles.css, which is present over here. So that's already linked. Now with that out of the way, let's start implementing this layout. So first of all, in the body, let's first think what we need to do. So first of all, if I go to the Holy Grail layout, you can see here we have a header, which is the top section, then a middle section over here, which has these three elements and a bottom section. Let's try to implement this in HTML. So what I'll do is first, I'll try to create a container. So let's say let's give this a class of nothing but app. And then right under this, remember, we have three sections, one, two, the center middle part and three, the bottom part. So what I'll do is I'll first create a header tag, which is nothing but the top part. And let's say I'll call this nothing but header. All right. And then I'll create the middle part. So div. And I'll give this a class of columns because it has three columns in it, right? So one, two, three. So this will have a class of columns. And in this column, we have three elements, left, middle, and right. So let's also create that. So within this column, I'll create three divs, div number one, which will say left. And it will also have a class of left. Let's keep the L small over here, All right? Then similarly, I'll copy this, paste this two more times over here. And this will be nothing but mid the class name over here will also be mid and this will be right and the class will be right. All right. So this is for the middle part. Then we have the footer, which is the bottom part. So here I'll create another div and I'll write footer and the class will also be nothing but footer. All right. So with this, just with this, we are done with the entire HTML part. Now let's utilize what we have on the screen and convert it into something like this. And that's going to happen purely using CSS. So I'm first going to go to my styles.css. Then over here, first I'll select the body tag. And to this, I'll give everything a margin of zero first so that they have no space around them. And then let's say I'll just give this a font family of sans serif and a text align of center. All right. Now with that done, Let's first select the entire container, which if you remember is the app. So I'll write dot app and to this over here, I'll give this nothing but a display of flex and a flex direction of column and a min height of nothing but 100 VH. Now, why am I giving this a display of flex and flex direction of column? Because if you remember, we want everything to be in a column based fashion. So the container is the app, right? And within the app, these three, these three sections, the top, middle and bottom are in a column like fashion. So that's why we need to give display of flex and flex direction of column. And we are giving min height of 100 VH because this will allow us to finally spread our entire content to the entire page of the website. So if the min height is 100 VH by default, then the container, which is the app, this one over here, this is going to take 100 VH of the height just by default itself. All right. And that is going to help us later on spread these entire elements across the entire height of the default page. So to do that, after this, what I can do is I'll select the header. And before I write the code over here, let me just zoom in on the browser a bit. All right. So to the header, let's say I'll give this a height of 60 px. You can give it as per your own wish. And I'll give this a background color of nothing but let's say pink. All right. After that, I'll select the columns, which is the middle part. And to the middle part, if you remember, we have left, mid and right in the columns div. So you can see here we have three elements over here. And these three elements, if you notice, they are structured in a row like fashion. So this time in the columns, instead of flex direction of column, what I'll do is I'll just give this a display of flex because display of flex by default has the flex direction set to row. All right. 
so let's go to my final build then after this the next thing i can do is over here i will select the left class so left and to this i'll give it a width of let's say 100 px and then a background color of nothing but orange all right so you can see the left is taking a width of 100 px and then after that i'll copy this paste this here name this to mid then mid for now let me just remove the width from here and i'll give this a background color of yellow and we don't need to give a width to the mid you will see what i'll be doing to this later on just hang on a little bit then i will paste this here again i'll name this as right and right will also have a width of 100 px and let's say the background color will be nothing but green let's lighten this color a bit all right so now with that done we can then select the footer and to the footer i'll give this a height of 100 px and a background color of gray all right so now we are pretty much almost done with everything but there are two things remaining one is to make this entire layout take the entire height of the page because the main height is 100 vh we want this to take the entire height of the web page by default and second is we want this middle section over here to spread as much as possible so that this entire part can be covered over here as well and this white space can be removed so here if you see the mid is taking whatever space that is available and these two columns over here the left and right they have nothing but 100 px width respectively and the mid is taking whatever space that is available all right so we need to make this mid take this remaining space so much so that the right goes over there and the left stays here and to do that it's pretty simple all we have to do is we need to go over here and we need to write flex grow and i'll give this a value of one all right and there you go you can see the mid is now taking whatever space that was remaining because if i give a flex grow of one to mid then it just says that whatever space that's remaining after left and right have their width assigned to them whatever space that remains just spread or just grow and take that available space and that is what mid is doing over here all right and now similarly we need this part over here to take the entire height as well and to do that it's the same thing because here to the mid section over here basically this entire middle div which was nothing but the columns div if you remember the columns was the middle section so we want this column to take up whatever height that is remaining this entire column div that you see over here we want this to take up entire height that is remaining which is take up the entire height of the remaining white space so as you guessed we have to utilize the same flex grow concept over here as well so what i'll do is i'll go to my styles.css and over here to the columns to the columns class all we need to do is we need to write flex grow of nothing but one if i save this there you go voila you can see it takes up the remaining white space so similarly flex grow over here also says that whatever space that's remaining after the header and footer have been given their respective height if there's any space remaining just grow and take that empty space up so if we give that to column the column takes that remaining space up and that's what allows us to grow this middle section to the remaining portion of the screen all right so that is pretty much how you implement this holy grail layout in css now this is very frequently asked during interviews i myself have been asked this question at least two to three times so there might be other ways to implement this problem as well but i have always implemented it using the flex property you can also do the same or you can use some other ways like grid if you're more interested in doing it that way all right so if i just expand the screen over here so here you can see this seems to work perfectly fine and it looks pretty cool as well so that's all for the video if you found it insightful don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more